Okay, I wanted to ask you guys this, since we're really like dating this podcast by talking about Megan Tory for a half hour, because yeah. it's going to be so obvious was, at what moment in time this occurred. That was the that was the appetizer. But okay, this is what I wanted to know: is you guys have been independent now for what a year and a half, two years? Like you know, n- doing your own show. Oh uh, uh, yeah, yeah, a little over a year. Okay, how does it feel? How is it different than how you thought it would be? And what is the mentality after going at it for a year? You guys seem very, very determined to make this work. Uh, no, I'm, I know exactly how much money was stolen from me. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, because yeah, I could see everything. Right. And it's um, but creatively, it's just uh, the energy is a lot different. Uh, the way we go about doing things, how we want to look, uh, the things that we trying to do, it's just a easier uh transition, the easier way of doing things, because it's not um. You know, between us, it's not an a ego thing. You know what I mean? It's very like Rory has an idea. He wants to do something. Yo, tell me what you think. Think about it. Okay. Same way. Yo, we should do this. Down to today in this interview. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> real talk. No, for real. Yo, like, you want to do this? If you don't want to do it, I don't want to do it type yeah. shit. So it's like it's very, it's it's just a different, uh, it's just a, be- a healthier way of, of creating. And I think that's a big part of creating content and a, podcasting and, you know, doing the things that we're doing. It's just the energy around it. What is this for? Why are we doing this? Mm. Is this really what we want to do? Um, so for the past year and a half, it's just been an easy flow of things um, for us to do, create, turn down, accept. And just, you know, just from a business standpoint, it's just healthy. It's like, you know, people, you know, we like to say that, you know, the, you have to do snake shit in this business. Like, no, you don't. No, you don't. That's a that's a thing that we 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 let people run with is um, <clears throat> you got to do uh fucked up things in business to get ahead, and you know everybody can't be pleased, everybody can't be happy. That's not true, you know what I mean. And um, I think Rory and myself we we learned that like early on, like, bro, we know what this is, we know what we want to do, we know what we're not doing. Um, so let's just have fun with it, cause you know the business is gonna be the business, and our business is very simple with each other. You know what I mean? It's 50-50. That's it. You know what I mean? Uh, whether, you know, I, I see it or I don't, I trust him. He trusts me. He knows I'm not in this for, you know, just money shit. I, again, I, as I've always said, I don't care about money. It's all about, you know, the relationship, the friendship, the energy, the intent, things like that. Like, where's your morals at? You know what I'm saying? Things that men should be built on is what I was taught. Mm. And money is going to come if you just move right. You have good intent. You have a good heart, good energy. Somebody's going to remember that and always put you in a position like, I like this dude right here. You know what I mean? Like, even if it's not, I don't, I'm not getting nothing from it, I'm going to put you in position because I think, yo, this this is your strong suit right here. I think you'll be good for this. You know what I mean? Like, just things like that. You know, we put too much emphasis on money, money, money. And I get it. We all from, you know, areas in life where we didn't have. Where we had to do things that cost us our freedom or you know, we had to keep our head on the swivel to try to feed our families. But once you work yourself to a space where that's not the case anymore, don't bring bullshit into it. Leave that out because we no longer in that space. And I think that for the past year and a half of us doing our own thing, it's been a, a testament to just how we built as men. You know what I mean? Like just do, do right by people, do good business by people, have fun, respect each other. And um, it's been a blessing, man. It's been you know, pretty much one of the best years of, of, of my life on a personal level because it's like just the energy and, you know, it's a lot of stresses that, you know, were around us for a few years where it was like it just wasn't comfortable. Mm. You know what I mean? And this, this past year and a half has been a lot of comfort. Yeah, I watched some YouTube videos breaking down you guys' body language on a few podcasts that were quite informative. Mm-hmm. Okay. I learned a lot. That's interesting. I was like, look at the way they're sitting. <laughs> our bo- our, our, yeah. yeah. But it's, like you, shit that I never would have known, and the diehard fans are just picking up on it, zooming in I mean, on Rory's always, face, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm so glad that YouTube exists because yeah, I would yeah. not have known about this otherwise. I've I've seen a few of those as well, and I think they're funny, and I sometimes do, exaggerated, of course. I mean, yeah, <laughs> but if, but if fans aren't making up theories or doing deep dives like that, do you matter? Mm. So Real shit. as much as I used to look at that shit like and get angry, like hey, what the fuck, like this is a complete spun narrative this is not true and then i also don't want to get out there and get on ig or another podcast be like yo this is fucking false this 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 that this means this means that 
they like what we're doing at the end of the day. It's just a warped way of saying, hey, we love this. Mm. That's really what those conspiracy, Reddit, YouTube, et cetera, are. But does it feel Even down like, a Lipstick Alley. Does it feel like a challenge trying to build a podcast that... I feel like you guys are trying to build a podcast off of just friends having good conversation and try to like avoid all the temptations of shit that you could do in terms of making it a constant battle to get big guests or you know trying to talk about the most dramatic crazy clickbait shit like is that a very specific thing that you guys want to build something with a foundation of just you guys talking yeah absolutely i mean i don't you know you don't want to build a foundation off of something that is uh may come and go if our if our relationship is solid from the foundation you know we can build on that you know what I mean? And we don't like to sit with a lot of guests that we don't have some type of personal relationship. Because mm -hmm. it's like, I could sit here and talk to somebody I don't know and ask them all the questions that every other outlet has asked them. Mm. But when we've actually hung out and kicked it on a real level and had real conversations off camera, and you know how I am, the type of dude I am, the conversation on camera is going to be different. Real life? That's real shit. So it's like, I, you know, I, I, I fuck with a lot. It's like, damn, I would like to talk to you, but it's like, I don't really know you and I don't want to interview you. I'm not Barbara Walters. Like, I'm not going to sit here and <laughs> interview you and grill you. Like, so when you said this line, uh, how did that? Or Gail King. Yeah, like, I don't want to do that. Yeah, because people ask me, like, how do I become a, a rap interviewer? And I'm just, like, thinking in my head, like, I don't know, man, because there's a lot of fucking people doing this. Like, yeah. I don't, I'm not sure what your angle is going to be that's going to be way different, unless you can find a pocket of artists that people aren't really talking to, which I think that's probably the best bet. Yeah, or, you know, just be a heavy uh, music guy. Mm hmm know the artist that you're talking to, know right. his music, know his or her story. The more specialized your knowledge is. Yeah. Well, know? and I think your your approach, the less journalistic way, has been the best part of your interviews. It's way more of a conversation than, mm. you know, we love Rap Radar because they are actual journalists. And when we want to watch the journalistic interview, we go to them. But what you would feel is like actual combo to some degree. Nori's the one where it's, he's, for the most part, very familiar and has a long history with the guests and can mm. get them to open up a way they never would. I think the guest-based podcasts all have different niches, which I think is cool. But with our breakup and that whole show, the live show shit we've been doing, has proven to me that guest shit is just not the best route all the time. Mm. Because obviously things end no matter what you wanna do. But if you have a core fan base that is there to see you and not they're not there for the guest, you'll be fine forever. Because mm. no matter what, Ma and I could set up some microphones and just talk. Right. That can be proven. They actually hate they're not have guests. Yeah, like, they're not coming here <laughs> just what? because they we want to have guests. guests. Oh, yeah. We uh, deal with that, audience, too. They yeah. hate when we have guests, and it's like... There's a few guests that they'll appreciate, but <laughs> largely they hate them. Yeah. 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 yeah 100%. But, you know, it's the interesting, uh, just uh, the way people like, oh, yeah, no, nah, don't sit down with this person. This was whack. And I was like, damn, I thought y'all would have enjoyed that. Yeah. You know, we just want to hear y'all. But like, if the thumbnail said Rory we, and Maul interview Steven Seagal... I think people would, at least they know what they're going in on. But if they click on their That's weekly funny, episode, I would click on that. Like right. Steven Seagal, or, or just anybody. But like, been up but if they click on it and they want to see you guys movies? talking, and then all of a sudden it's like, so Steven Seagal, your ponytail, it's so yeah. long and luxurious. Yeah. yeah, we see the random, just random homies we got do way better on the channel than you know what I mean. You bring a rapper that, oh, I think he dope. I like his music, and he come here and be dry as fuck. See, yeah, because the random you know person I mean? has a better conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's what it is. It's just the better conversation. So, you know, getting the guests is cool. You know, it's just it's gonna, you know, clicks and numbers and everything. But it's like I don't want to talk to dudes I really don't have some type yeah. of at least a little bit of a relationship with. And you mm -hmm. almost live and die off the moment crowd. Like you have to keep up with they're there for the moment. Mm -hmm. Cause like we could we interviewed JD and had Bow Wow just randomly FaceTime in and say, yo, I got a million dollars cash for me right now. I'm coming. Like, that's a hilarious moment. Mm -hmm. But we would have to continue to chase that moment if our platform was based off trying to have those moments. Yeah. So I think it's, for us at least, way less stressful to just do what we want to do and make sure our fan base fucks with us. And when we want to have guests, cool. If we don't, we're fine. Yeah, because, like, getting interviews is awesome. But, I mean, you guys were the ones who really made me want to start the weekly podcast shit because I was like, you know, it sucks having a business where I have to, like, get new interviews all the fucking time. And yeah. if I don't for a week or two, and let's be real, like, there are just huge parts of time where there, like, aren't that many new interesting rappers coming out. Or, like, you know, you interview these dudes and, like, they maybe take a while to pop off and the interview ends up doing okay over time. But, 
you know, yeah, just being able to have a conversation with your friends on camera is that's pretty much why I started doing it because I just saw what you guys were building. And when you did that, I felt like you made the whole office like the show, like yeah. the characters <laughs> within the office, people you bringing in, like it, it became the environment rather than Adam sitting with a right. rapper. Because that can only go so far. Yo, we just hit 400,000 subscribers right here on the Clips channel. So if you want to help us out, click subscribe, get us to 500K. Yeah.